Shalom, shalom on YouTube. To the brothers and sisters of the Hebrew and Zalai community, what's going on with you? Um, it's nice to see that your brothers and sisters are constantly out there putting in this work by whenever me mentioning the sisters, I mean putting in the work as of keeping the law, statutes, and commandments as commanded for you to do and staying away from these worldly activities where it consists of a people who want to do such sinful things and activities to stop themselves from bettering themselves. And like I mentioned in the last video, if you don't want to have self-improvement to at least make yourself into a better you, quite frankly, you're a waste of time and not worth speaking to. So I'm going to address the elephant in the room right quick. And uh, this individual who so-called just actually realizing he's my half-brother. I don't really want to get into personal matters, but I have to address you since you are an ignorant nigga who refuses to listen to reason and logic and understanding, and you're just barely 20 years old. You are still freshly new and wet behind the ears and just coming into this world, so uh, Dark Hamster, I'm going to need you to stay off of my videos. Off of all of my accounts. Stop being a stalking, whining, effeminate little bitch who refuses to correct yourself. I am entirely sick and tired of our brothers and sisters, mostly our brothers, appearing in a very effeminate fashion where you are a pinnacle or seem to be a pinnacle of strength. Whenever it's time for you to prove that strength, you don't got it. When we put you on a pedestal to prove what form of wisdom and knowledge and understanding you have, you don't got it. You're an idiot. I'm a guy with no filters and I'll say exactly whatever it is I need to say in front of anyone at any given time and I don't give a damn what circumstances I'm in. Just as Yahawashai, who the earth ignorantly calls Jesus, has spoken, I'm going to speak in the same fashion. So, hear me out. You niggas are weak. Especially whenever you were given an opportunity to prove your strength. And all you did was tuck tail and run behind the doctrine of someone else and pretend like... You have the knowledge that everyone else is looking for. When all you've done was repeat that came out of the same mouth of your oppressor. Sorry as niggas like you are the individuals who I avoid. And who the conscious community actually make fun of. And I'm glad they do. So big ups to San Eder and the... Uh, I'm in Ron Squad, Dagger Squad, who possibly you know encounter these coons on the street to correct them and smack them around a bit they need a good smacking our men are made to be militant but for some odd reason regardless of the conditions they were put in the turmoil the constant captivity the forced work conditions and even working out and fitness building of their testosterone and let's see how well they're fit they fare against their oppressor they still for some odd strange reason want to defend their oppressor <sighs> these are the same niggas who will be in the middle of the race war and would um turn their arms you know what I'm talking about. You know, they will be aiming their guns at the enemy at first to make it seem like they're, they're, that they're ready to fight for their own people. But yet the enemy could say something very minor. And I guess heartfelt because they always want to be seen as someone who cares, and even though they don't. 
And if they did, they wouldn't have done such a thing to us in the past. But they did. And they're still doing it. Yeah, that's right, nigga. It's still happening. What the fuck made you think that it's gone and passed over and it's not going to happen again? I don't know. But uh, if you look at the conditions of our people and our people are being killed in broad daylight and no one's going to really protest much about it other than Black Lives Matter, who is seen as a institution crafted and created by the Jewish elite to give the the false uh, narrative that the Jewish are actually on our side and they're not. And if they were, they would tell us who we really are. But they're not because they understand that if they told us the truth of who we really are even though there are some that turned against their own and told who we are on youtube yeah if you look at these videos they're going to say they're they're tired of these fake jews or fake brothers or sisters of theirs and they want us to finally wake up and repent and come back to our land over there but going back to the point in a matter they're not going to tell us the truth because they realize as soon as we wake up it's only a matter of time anyway Kendrick Lamar Amari Stoudemire Walker Flock of Flame and all the brothers and sisters who are you know somewhat in some way have proven that they once upon a time had listened had been listening to the truth and uh they couldn't ignore it it's a, uh, it's going to be a pondering thing in your mind once you look into it and look at the relations of how it has a lot to do with us in our history because it speaks about you in history it, it foretells about what would happen to you and it happened And if you are one of these individuals that ignore the things, the events that has happened in history to denounce who you are instead of acknowledge, you are not only dishonorable and not worth speaking to, but you're a waste of living space and quite frankly, you're about as good as dead. You're already dead. You're just a walking corpse right now. You're not spiritually strong. If I told you one thing spiritual, you're probably going to die from that. Yeah. So, since I'm talking about it, I'm just going to go on this website called BibleGateway.com. And um, mention a specific scripture that the Heavenly Father has definitely emphasized because he often has to repeat himself which is ridiculous why does the creator of the universe have to repeat himself because he, after he told you once why should he have to tell you again I remember back in the days where I was being reminded in the Old Testament and back in the days um, our people were told to do something once and they didn't listen so they were put to death on the spot like we need those times back if only our people was rewarded for their sins with death they would finally wake up and understand that the Heavenly Father ain't playing well these days he really ain't playing anyway so he's still putting our people to death are they listening? Nope. <laughs> I'm just a common everyday nigga. God loves everybody. The Bible's false. If the Bible's false, why are you still in captivity, stupid ass nigga? So, going back to the Bible Gateway website, which it is kind of freezing at the moment. I suppose I'll talk while I'm trying to get the uh, scripture I need. But I find it just 
hilarious that individuals who are just fresh, you're still very, very young. You pretend like you have more knowledge and wisdom pertaining to someone who was much older than you. Aren't you just reaching puberty and you suddenly know more than me now? Okay. <laughs> who are these weird ass individuals, man? That's why I keep a very tight circle. I keep a very tight circle. I don't hang with even specific individuals claiming to be friends or an even family. Yeah, that's right. Family could get it too. I don't give a damn who you are. It's Heavenly Father's laws over the things you got to say any day. What the fuck you thought this was? You, this ain't that type of party. I'm not going to listen to your words and suddenly have a heartfelt feeling for you and think that I'm going to turn against the Heavenly Father. No, you got me messed up. This is where you have me twisted. <laughs> I don't think so. And here's the book of Psalm chapter 82 verse 8. I will hear what God the Lord will speak for he will speak peace unto his people and to his saints. But let them not turn again to folly. Yeah, whatever you think you're going to approach me with just because I'm causing a, and starting a platform, which is basically me running that platform and not giving the platform to you or even any form of attention to you, doesn't mean I'm going to stop talking about what I'm talking about. You ain't stopping shit up here. All I could do is just block button, proceed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what be wrong with these niggas, man. But yeah, it's just that easy. You're not stopping the program of the Heavenly Father. I don't think so. The Most High Yahweh is a force that you can't even reckon with right now. He's a force to be reckoned with, but he's too damn strong for you to even stand on his side. That's the reason why a lot of you weak niggas fall short. You have weak spirits. Satan has already got a hold of you, so he's sending his children after you via SWAT vehicles entering randomly in front of your household. Police come out of that vehicle, kick your door down, and suddenly that big and bad, rough and tough attitude suddenly disappears over that time. This nigga was talking all that shit and suddenly whenever a few individuals hold projectile shooting weapons at you and you turn into a straight bitch really okay and speaking of folly you know what I'm just gonna put this word folly in because the heavenly father he he's really tired of this there's so many scriptures where he has mentioned about the folly of our people And so many times where he has proven his people wrong just by simply taking their life away because they thought that they knew more than him. I don't got to keep the law. I'm going to do whatever it is I want to do. Click. <laughs> just eventually took that boy's life and or woman's life because the women could get it too. I don't know where they think that just because they're a woman, they are, you know, but I, I suppose it came from the feminist movement. But, you know, I don't know why they feel like just because they're a woman. They're absent from curses. Nah. That's not how the earth, the, the, the earth works. You see, it doesn't matter what gender. A curse hits anybody and everybody, even me. Yeah, if I messed up in doing these law, statutes, and commandments, as I was commanded to do, then, um, yeah, a curse will hit me too. Am I angry at the Heavenly Father for it? Nah, I'm actually glad he hit me with a curse. Because it corrects me. Yeah. I can accept correction. And also accept my bloodline. 
instead of saying, you know, I'm just a, a random nigger who just ended up on this land and ended up in slavery. Are you serious right now? No. You see, what I'm talking about right now is the coons that goes about living across the lifestyles of Pharaoh, a.k.a. the so-called white man in this day and coming age of the United States of America, and they claim to know all the information that they need to know and need to know nothing else but whenever it's time for them to lead our people to greatness as they think that they're in greatness and our people should follow suit nothing really happens this is just the same thing all right so here's the book of proverbs chapter 26 verse 4 answer not a fool according to his folly Lest thou has, or lest thou also be like unto him. I don't respond to every and each and every single comment that people make. Especially those who are desperately in need for attention because they lack getting that attention from their woman, their parents, friends, other family members. Loneliness. If you're lonely, you can always turn to the Heavenly Father and repent, nigga. But you don't want to do that because you think, you I mean, you think that there's no God. In truth, atheist is the exact definition of Satanist. It's nothing different. Why? Because it came from a people that still keep satanic ways, but for some odd, strange reason, don't believe in the most high what not to mention that a Negro atheist is the exact opposite of a beneficial factor to Negroes natives and Hispanics in the book of Proverbs chapter 26 verse 5 answer not a fool or answer a fool according to his folly lest he be wise in his own conceit our people are in many ways conceited and I don't know for what for I mean, I understand that the Negroes, Natives, and Hispanics created literally everything that we're using now. I mean, that goes without saying. These headsets, the equipment I got here, all made by us. In one form or way or shape or another, it was made by us. Yeah. The moment we stop all working simultaneously is whenever all of this will disappear. Now, suppose if we continued working but only working for our own, we would have the things that we have today. Only the people who were working for, the so-called white man, uh, the so-called Chinese, Japanese, and the Arab man, all of the things that they have will cease to exist. Why? Because they don't have the ideas that we have to create things. Of course not. Where are they gonna get this? I would love to see them try. Go ahead, feel free to mimic whatever it is that we create. Do it. Now. Today. I can guarantee that you can't make it. Our people are hard-headed. I've already said that in so many videos ago, and quite frankly, I'm tired of repeating myself. Just like the Heavenly Father is. That's why he often kills our people whenever they deserve it. You. You had it coming. Which brings me to this concern. There are some people who are asking me as to why is it that I'm not joining in a protesting and a marching of the crusades they create whenever they're on the streets talking about our black lives being shot down in the streets and no one's responding much including an individual who they look at me as some form of leader or leading figure now of course I can be a leading figure of course I won't 
hesitate to take that position at all. Will they accept it? Hell no. <laughs> They don't even accept correction. What the hell do I look like leading people who do not do not accept correction? A kingdom without their people is not a kingdom. Or rather, a king without his people is no king. When there's a king of himself, who else is he ruling over? absolutely nobody that's why there are so many suffering in the blacks and natives and Hispanic society in the community no matter where they go they're always going to be treated the same way no matter what race they encounter that's outside of the so called white man they're still going to encounter the same condition which I'm glad also this is off topic but I'm also glad that um, was it Ghana? I forgot the place. Guyana, I, I, know, I don't know. I'll have to look it up again. But some place there in the land of Ham, which they call today Africa, they are enforcing laws where they are prohibiting every and each form of homosexuality. You will be tortured or you will be murdered. I wouldn't even call it a murder if it's a unjust crime that you are not supposed to do via the Heavenly Father telling you not to. Oh, man. Sodom and Gomorrah had gotten their kingdom destroyed because they had they had done such a practice performed such practices and it was so despicable that the heavenly father has given them a warning they didn't listen and they got their whole entire kingdom evaporated what's also hard to understand is that negroes of this coming day and age I'm glad to see that a lot of you are waking up as to who you are, especially the men. It's taking much longer for the black, so-called black women to wake up, but at least you're attempting to or trying. Hell, you're even looking more stronger than a lot of our men. But it's good to see the brothers like Kendrick Lamar and all of these other brothers who are ancestors who are waking up into the into the identity of who they are instead of just being afraid because of the public opinion now of course they're going to be pressed and pressured because of their riches being in danger of the things that they're talking about so what the riches of this world is folly the fatness of this world belongs to Esau. Yeah, of course he's going to own all of the materialistic values of the of the earth. Yeah. That was his blessing. But our blessing is to rule over Esau. But we're not doing that right now because our people our people want to live in the ways of him. where that wasn't even given unto you as a blessing. <sighs> Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. We are the life of the planet. Everything we create is beneficial to the blacks, natives, and Hispanic society. Hell, even for the heathens is beneficial to them, but we're not permitted to help them. For they are actually going to be eating the crumbs underneath the table. 
like dogs. That's what they equate to being to us. Dogs. That's exactly what you are. This is what you will be and what you will always be. A damn dog. Every Caucasian Edomite so-called white person who I meet always has this strange closeness to want to embrace me as if they're either envious that they hate being alone or tired of, tired of me and the rest of my people ignoring them or they're trying to be a part of something bigger which they'll never be and all you're going to do is be seen as a tear and you will be put to death flat out I'm going to address the concern right quick of so called Negroes, Natives, and Hispanics and I'm going to end the video because there are a lot of our people who appear as our brothers and sisters and well they're really not they could say that junk to your face just as a just as a way to keep you in comfort so that while you're in this luxurious luxurious excuse me comfort zone for some strange reason later on they feel the need to want to stab you in the back whenever you're the one who brought them up or at least and strengthen them so let's get on to this chapter right quick you're going to have to bear with me here. Here's the book of Hosea, chapter 7, verse 10. And the pride of Israel testifieth to his face, and they do not return to the, to the Lord their God, nor seek him for all this. And let's go to the next verse. Ephraim also is like a silly dug, dove, excuse me, without heart. They call to Egypt, they go to Assyria. This was speaking whenever our people were into the Assyrian captivity. That's how our people got here, the so-called Puerto Ricans, Native American Indians, and Seminole Indians all down basically the 10 tribes, let's put it that way. I don't really want to get too descriptive toward the the names of them, but you should already know the remainder ten, ten tribes who were the northern tribes. They were in the Assyrian captivity, and they fled from there and went here in the lands where you call right now the North Americas or South Americas or Central. And that explains the reason why you see so many of us on this land and so little Edomites. And the reason why you're seeing a lot of Edomites on this land is because these individuals have multiplied by the thousands and whatnot via rape. They raped a lot of our people and had, and even the women too, yeah, they, the women raped our people as well, our men, women, and children. And that's the reason why there are so many of the mixed races, mulatto individuals who you see today calling themselves mixed and there's no such thing as mixed. You know, you are based off of the congregation of your father. Basically, if you are or your father is of some race who is a so-called native American Indian, Negro or Hispanic, you're an Israelite. And if not, you could just fall by the wayside and I'll see you in the kingdom where you are in the back of my cotton field. Boy, I can't wait to have these other nations in my cotton field. And of course, there's going to be some of, the, of our own kind telling us, man, you're so racist. Of course I am. Why aren't you? 
I care for my own people. I don't even care if Edomites are racist. Come to my post and feel free to be as racist as you can and tell me exactly how you really feel. Don't hide it. I'm not going to block your content. I'm not also going to block your account. Feel free to show me my opponent. I hate to quote Lil Wayne, that demonic worshipping ass nigga, but show me my opponent. Show me. Feel free. Go ahead. So that whenever you show me and that opponent is appearing to me, the only thing I'm thinking of right now is not to hug my arms around that individual. I'm thinking about killing. But our people fled here from the Assyrian captivity. Because specifically, our people was scattered within the four corners of the earth. And this is the mysterious fourth corner that didn't have a name. The fourth corner, meaning a land that had no name. America, nah, this is the land's name. This land was never named America, nor was it named Morocco, regardless of how the Moors would like to say. And don't get me wrong, the Moors have a lot of intelligence and a lot of wisdom. They were the first to be ruling Egypt, or not Egypt, but Europe. I have Egypt in my mind, so excuse me. But they were the first to be ruling Europe, as well as our people. You see, they lived in lavish styles, where they were very fancy, civilized, very astute studying individuals that kept their faces in books most of which also consist of the bible king solomon didn't go to any colleges he didn't go to any universities nor did he go to any schools you want to know who he, where he got his wisdom from his knowledge he is known as the wisest man on the planet at the time. Amongst all the individuals who had lived longer than he, he was still the wisest man on the planet. The Heavenly Father has blessed him greatly. Not only that, he was an individual who was also focused on in strengthening himself. The best way to prove how strong you are is to conquer yourself. And when you conquer, your, conquer yourself, you won't be able to be conquered by anyone, nor by temptation of this earth. Earl, uh, earthly temptations is just nothing more than just light work for you. You could just shrug that off with your shoulder like, get the hell off me. Really, devil? Is that all you got? <laughs> Anywho, let's get to the book of Romans chapter 9, verse 6. Not as though the word of God has taken any a none effect, for they are not all Israel which are of Israel. I'm going to read that again, just so you can catch on to what's being said here, to what's being versed here. Romans chapter 9 verse 6 not as though the word of God have taken none effect for they are not all Israel which are of Israel that goes back to what I was saying earlier whenever a lot of our brothers and sisters who may appear to look at you in the flesh as brother and sister of the Negro and Native and Hispanic Hebrew is alike community and they, not, they, they don't even accept themselves as Hebrew Israelites because of the fact that they think that they're everything else beside that. Yeah. And while they're thinking that there's something else, they're also plotting your demise. They're secretly looking for a way to stab you in the back. 
And then when they see that you are getting blessed by so many fortunes, blessings, with so much wisdom and you're getting stronger and stronger as they are deteriorating every day that goes by, they'll get envious of you and then they'll want to be like you. And then whenever they realize that they can never be like you, regardless of how many worldly activities that they engage in, they'll eventually want to kill the threat and seek a way to kill them. Be very vigilant of these brothers and sisters of ours. For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. This is my warning to you, all kin, all brothers, all sisters. Please stay vigilant. Proceed to teach this word. Let nothing hold you back. I'm certainly not going to be held back myself. And that's the reason why you see me here. Anywho, my name is Genesis Gad Israel, descendant of Gad, and warrior, oracle, and teacher of my people. Shalom.